Hi, Mark. Great show. Um, it is a great show. I'm glad you noticed that. Thank you. Um, question for you. I have, I have talked to a lot of people today. Um, with Obama in the lead right now, the, the big issue seems to be the superdelegates. And I don't understand it. Maybe you've covered it in the past, but no one I know. What do you today. want to know? What, how does the, how does the superdelegate get designated? Who do they? They're party officials. They're party big shots. That's fair. They're so people who, they, by they're people who, by the nature of their position, are automatically delegates to the Democratic convention. For example, Doyle's a super delegate. So is Herb Cole. If he wants to be, he can designate someone else if he wants. It's people like that. It's the it's the big shots in the in the party. They get to go to the they get to go to the convention. So is it possible for Hillary to steal the super delegates? Well, it's not to steal them. She just has to convince them to support her. But I, I don't, as I said, I just don't see where that's in the cards. Why would they do that? I, I don't know. I mean, I why, if you're Herb Co- if Barack Obama wins the last 15 primaries in a row, which is now very, very possible, if you're Herb Cole, why would you, ba- why would you, why would you buck that? There's, I don't there's, have no, there's no reason that you would. The no. same thing is going to happen on the Democratic side that's on the Republican side right now. You see the Republican side gradually as McCain kept winning, all the dominoes fell in place. Everybody else pulled out of the race except Huckabee. They're all endorsing him. That's going to happen with Obama. And the, the party leadership, once it becomes inevitable that Obama is the more popular of the two, they're going to come around and they're, 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 going to, they're going to back her. I wish this wasn't the case. I wish that there would be the ability for her to have a greater chance of being able to rip up the Democratic Party and challenge this. I wish that she'd have the ability to succeed in trying to get the Michigan and Florida delegations uh, seated. But I just don't see any of it happening right now. The Democratic Party is not going to turn its back on a black candidate who wins 15 states in a row. And that's what I think it's going to end up as. I, I really think he's got it. I, I think you're right. And one of the conversations that I had today was that I think this is gonna. This could cause the implosion of the party because they're 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 back by. They're not imploding. Well, everything they've accused the Republicans for for the last twenty years, racism, sexism, they're doing to themselves. And I think over the next two weeks, she's how thirty. Well, only if he loses, though, and I don't think he's going to lose. If they would somehow deny him the nomination, if somehow Ohio and Texas go for Hillary, and I, it's possible. I've been rowing a lot this season. It's possible. I just don't think it's going to happen. If that happens and she's able to come back and get this, they're all ripped up. But as I said, I don't think that's happening. I think that there's going to be a unification process that started yesterday in Wisconsin. It's going to happen with Ohio and Texas. And he's going to win this and they're going to kissy face and he's going to go on and become be be, be crowned the king in July. That's what I think. I think he's got it. I don't see how she can come back from this. I don't see what tactic is there. I, she has to win primaries. You can't just go to court. You can't try to persuade superdelegates if you keep losing. It would be like Huckabee right now trying to, trying to nail the Republican big shots. They're not going to do that. No. He keeps losing. And you know, admittedly, you know, Hillary has shown more strength than Mike Huckabee. The delegate count is still close. But I think she's going to keep winning. The, he's going to keep winning the rest of the states. I mean, yesterday was an annihilation. 17 points is huge, especially if her total was fattened by some Republican crossovers trying to help her in an attempt to stop Obama. He just destroyed her yesterday. Do you think, do you think she's going to go negative? Why would he go negative on her? He's got a one. No, her negative on him. Hillary negative on Obama. That's a good question, and I'll I'll get into that as we go on. That's a very good question he asks. To uh, Melissa in Heartland, you're on News Talk 1130 WISN. Hi, Mark. I'm a really longtime listener. I started in high school, and now I have kids in school. Now you're going to say you're now 50, aren't you? You're going to say no, you're I'm, 50 now. No, I'm getting there, but I did do what you described. I voted for Hillary to stop Barack, and... I tried to listen to his speech, and I just don't see the charisma or the appeal. Oh, come on, Melissa. No, I really, the little bit I saw, he. You don't see the charisma? Not really. Oh, I really... Melissa. I mean, Ray Charles can see this charisma. I mean, the guy has a delivery that's just brilliant. He's, if, if, as I said a couple of weeks ago, if he wasn't in politics, he'd be a tremendous actor. He's got he's got command. He's got presence. He's one of those people. You know, one of the reasons why I will often read 
a politician's speech on the air here rather than have the politician deliver it is I think I can deliver it more effectively than they do it. He's got that ability to take words that if somebody else express, if Hillary Clinton is given a speech and Barack Obama is given the same speech, she will deliver it in that monotone she always uses and just drone on and on. He will take the same words and lift. Your spirit with his message of unification. We, Melissa, need hope and change and change is coming because our time has come. I mean, you don't see what's going on here. Not the 10 minutes I saw of him. He, he just well, you just like, said that. That's what it is, though. I mean, it's the soaring rhetoric. He, represent, he represents this whole notion of unity. He's making the Democrats feel good about themselves. And he's running against a very, very wooden opponent who isn't all that eloquent and who, frankly, the, most of the country is tired of. Do you think McCain has a shot against Yes, Obama? he's got a shot. He's got a chance. Okay. I, I, I don't think he's going to win. But, yes, I think he's got a chance. Well, heaven help us. I'd have to figure out what the percentages are, but it's a long way away. McCain has a chance. There's no doubt about that. I don't think he's going to win, but he has a chance. There are okay. weaknesses that Barack Obama has, and there are also things that can happen in America over the next eight and a half months that would change the political dynamic. The other thing that you don't know is what things a candidate may say or things that may happen that can create an enormous issue. For example, four years ago, no one knew that John Kerry would overplay his hand on the Vietnam thing, creating this opportunity for people to expose him as a fraud. No one knew he'd blow that. But Kerry went to the Democratic convention and in his acceptance speech saluted and said, John Kerry reporting for duty. He put that whole Vietnam thing on the table as a legitimate issue. Well, nobody knew it was going to go in that direction. Nobody knew that this was going to be a referendum on whether or not John Kerry was a liar regarding his Vietnam service. Things can change in a political campaign, and there may be things here that change with regard to this. While Obama has this incredible soaring rhetoric and is a very eloquent speaker, he's also very untested. He's in way over his head. He could make mistakes. Likewise, McCain has a very strong temper and a quick trigger. He could say something incredibly stupid that would just knock himself out and guarantee that Obama wins real, real big. You can't anticipate all of those things. They're all things that could possibly happen. But, I mean, you've got, come on, you're telling me you don't see you don't get this whole how Obama's making him swoon? Come on, Melissa. You've been listening to me long, and if you can't spot this... No, I... I he doesn't do it for me, and Hillary does I didn't ask if he did it for you. I'm as You can't see why he's doing it for others? I suppose I could, but he seems to say a whole lot of nothing with a lot of he words. He says absolutely nothing. He says absolutely nothing. You ever listen to a song that you really like and you don't know what you you hear it yeah. over and over and over? You don't know what the lyrics are, though. That's exactly that's Barack Obama. It just sounds.